Hey, this is Sarah Liz, and welcome back to the channel. Now grab your journal or some paper and a pen and settle in with this food for thought. This is a time for you to go a bit deeper, engage in a bit of self-reflection, to invite a bit of self-awareness, which isn't going to solve all your problems, but it will help to make potential solutions a bit clearer, a bit more obvious. Buckle up and get ready. Here we go. Today's food for thought are hopes and goals. Now, when we think about hopes and we think about goals, it might seem like we're talking about exactly the same thing. But hopes may or may not come true. You could think that they're a best case scenario, but you don't necessarily rely on your hopes. They inspire you. You'd like them to happen, but you don't count on them. Whereas goals are achievable. They are within your grasp. You might have to reach, but if you reach, you very likely could accomplish them. So think about what your hopes are and what your goals are. And you can start with a big picture. What are your hopes for your life? What do you hope to do, hope to be, hope to accomplish? Think about your goals, the goals for your life. What are those achievable things that you plan on doing or plan on becoming. When you finish the list for your lifetime, you can think about for the next year or two years. What are your hopes? What is in that dreamy land of inspiration for you for the next year or two years? And what are your goals? What are the concrete things that you think you could, with hard work, determination, and all the right factors at play, that you could accomplish or that you could become. Once you have these two sets of lists, distill it down even more. What is your biggest hope? What is your fondest and most cherished hope? And what is your most achievable, important goal? Now, they might be different. The most achievable one may not be the most important one. And the most important one may not be the most achievable one. But think about which is your most achievable goal and which is your most important goal. And it doesn't need to be important for anyone but you. When you've distilled this down, think about what you do day in and day out in your life. Do the daily activities of your life promote the achievement of your most important goal? Do they promote the achievement of your most achievable goal? And do they help you walk toward your most important dream. Sometimes the food for thought is easy to consider. Sometimes it is hard. Sometimes it is something we've done before. But we humans, we change. And year by year, it's good to do these exercises again and discover a deeper layer, a clearer vision a path with even fewer obstacles than before. See you next time.